We are MDT. We design, test, and create precision rifle chassis and accessories to help you shoot better. Hi, I'm Ken Thiessen from MDT, and today we're gonna to talk about how to shoot long range without a Kestrel. So whenever we're shooting long range, obviously we wanna be as accurate as possible and have the best information. The Kestrel does a great job of this. Well, what if I don't have a Kestrel? Do I need a Kestrel to shoot long range or to shoot precision? And the answer is no. Will it help? Absolutely, but it's not a must have tool. There are a lot of different options in the market when it comes to getting the information and gathering the information for shooting long range. Uh, aside from the Kestrel, there's a lot of cell phone apps. There's online free apps that you can use that you can input the information to give you a rough outline of the data that you're gonna to need to make the adjustments shooting out at distance. Cool little hack that's out there, some people know about. The theory is if you take your distance of the target and subtract the first number by two, that will give you your dope needed in mils. So if we have 100 yards zero on this gun, if we had a target at 500 yards, we'd subtract two from that front number, meaning that I would need three mils of elevation to hit a target at 500 yards. And this works pretty well out to that eight, 900 yard range still. Obviously there can be some deviation, but Let's give it a try and see how close we can get. It might be just a few tenths off and that'll be enough to get us on the targets to figure out what do we actually need out back there. So guys, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna try and put some rounds on a 512 yard target that's out there. So one thing to keep in mind when we're shooting long range, we need some information. So laser range finders are very, very handy to at least give us a distance. We need to know a distance to the target so we can do this hack. Now, what happens if we don't have a laser range finder? Well, if you have a scope with the reticle that you can use to mill the target, and if you know the target dimensions, then you can get a yardage based on that as well too. So we need to at least know a few pieces of the puzzle. We know the distance. We know we're 512 yards. I'm gonna use the hack. We're gonna take minus two off that front number. I'm gonna go with three mils of adjustment. See if we can't make a hit on target. See if this works. First round hit using the Creedmoor hack, so it works. So another method we can use if you don't specifically have the 6.5 Creedmoor to use that trick and you have different calibers is reference the box of ammunition from the manufacturer. They usually will print, you know, muzzle velocity, a zero range, a given drop at certain distances, which is gonna give you a real good idea of where you maybe need to make your scope adjustments. So for instance, this box has got measurements from 100 to 500 yards. You could see what the drop is at the 500 yard mark if you're shooting a 500 yard target. Calculate that with your scope, whether you're running mills or MOA. So if we're trying to use the drop that's given in inches on the back of your ammunition box, basically we'll look at it this way. We'll, and we'll use easy numbers for instance. So let's say the box is at 500 yards, you have 50 inches of drop. And if we're gonna use the minute of angle scale, one minute, at 500 yards would equate to five inches of adjustment. So if you take your 50 inches, divide it by five, that gives you 10. 10 MOA would be your adjustment for 500 yards using that calculation, okay? So very easy to do. MRAD would be a different set of numbers, you'd get to the same solution. So using some of these non-traditional methods are gonna be rough estimates only, okay? So if you're looking for absolute perfect information, and outputs and adjustments, that's where the ballistics calculators, the Kestrels come in really, really handy to make sure that you got first round impacts every time you're out in the field. But if you don't have any of the cool new tech or any of the gadgets, this is one way to do it.